Welcome, in front of me is an Asus ROG Phone 8 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So to get started let's open up our settings and we're going to begin with the dark mode located under the display. Now like most of the devices uh, this device has dark mode but like most it's actually named something else instead of dark mode it's called color or system color scheme and here we have the light and dark so you can choose between these two now the benefit with the dark mode here is that this is an AMOLED display so it will preserve a little bit more battery life when content is completely black as it doesn't need to waste energy to light up the area that's just fully black we also have the auto switch option to swap between these two modes on a schedule now going back into the display we have things like the color mode right here this uh, defines how vibrant your display looks like by default select to optimal we have also natural cinematic standard and customized so you can choose whichever one you want if you find that the colors are a bit overdone on the device you can change it to something for instance like natural oh goodness i can barely tell the difference here now cinematic does look different standard looks also different standard is the one that i would normally associate with natural natural and uh, optimal are basically desaturated versions on other devices so that's as best as i can compare it so this is the vivid um basically normal cinematic uh natural and uh, custom obviously allows you to choose that uh those would be the ways that you would probably typically name these unlike what asus went with Anyway, going back, we have also refresh rate right here. Now this is an LTPO, so chances are you might get the best battery life on the auto mode, but you can also change it to be permanently at a specific refresh rate like 160, 120 or 60 Hertz. Now, if you tend to, for instance, read a lot of books and fiddle with the device while doing so, I would probably recommend changing it to 60 as the high refresh rate won't give you any benefit and you fiddling around with the display actually makes it run at 165 hertz, meaning that it's going to waste more energy. But that is a very niche circumstance if you read books and just, you know, kind of touch the display moving it a little bit. Uh, any kind of moving content would automatically make the device switch to the highest refresh rate instead of the, like, 10 frames that it can run at if nothing is moving like right now now going a little bit further down we have also animation speed somewhere here oh there we go animation speed and this is actually the good animation speed uh so this is the animation speed that you would see straight up in the developer options i assume that's basically the developer options being just displayed right here but what it allows you to do is decrease the animation speed now decreasing it you would want to select it to 0.5 this would basically cut the time to display an animation by half and you have a couple different ones so you have the animation scale then you have transition animation scale and animation duration scale and i would recommend selecting all of them to be at 0.5 which will give you a significantly faster animation for your device meaning that any kind of action like swiping, closing and all that will be done significantly faster. You can also select it to be at zero, which would remove the animations altogether. But in certain cases, like going to recent where you have the zoom out, it might look a little bit jarring as uh, you might have areas where you don't have any animations as you remove them. And then in certain cases, you still might have some kind of animations which you can't get rid of. And it might look a bit weird. Now, moving on into the status bar we have status bar icon manager this allows you to just clear out your status bar right here and make it much neater cleaner by getting rid of the toggles that you don't really need to see in there so as an example if you have something like your do not disturb mode you can hide it so as you can see it just disappeared but do not disturb mode is still enabled let's see anything else we have airplane mode so let's get rid of that then we have, I think that's the refresh rate, if I can see correctly. And there we go, that's also gone. Okay, so as you can see, you can clear it out. Uh, I haven't really done much here. I just removed like two different things, but you can go completely nuts with this if you want to. 
Another thing that I'm going to quickly check out if we have option is the, there we go, battery visual settings. And here we have battery style and you can change how it's displaying the battery with percentage. You can have percentage only or battery only, again, uh, contributing to that clean look. Moving on, there's one more thing, which should be the gestures, which I assume are in the display section, somewhere at the bottom. Yep, system navigation right here, which again, furthermore, adds to that clean look. You can also get rid of the bar at the bottom if you don't want to see it. Right over here. So it still will function as it does normally, just, just, oops, sorry for that alarm clock. Uh, just gets rid of the indicator at the bottom. And additionally, uh, for gestures, you have the uh, sensitivity from left and right edge and can increase it or decrease it if you find that you're either not activating when you want to, you would then increase it and set it to high, or you're activating it where you don't want to, then you might want to select it to low. And moving on to the last thing that I want to show you is going to be the uh, gestures, which are located in the advanced section right over here and here. And we have a couple different gestures that you can activate right here. So we have lift to check phone, uh, flip down to mute, uh, screen off by double tapping, uh, screen on, again double tapping, swipe up to wake up. And we have music controls and also quick launching applications. So you can set those up. Unfortunately, there is no option that I would really like to see, which is the double tap power button for flashlight, unless it's a little bit lower, camera, Screen off shortcut, one-handed mode, uh, back tap, air triggers. For some reason, air triggers, you can actually enable them when I am not using games. So that might be interesting. But as you see, there's no uh, flashlight options. But you have obviously a plethora of different options that you can check. For instance, like pocket mode or glove mode. So during winter, you might want to actually use this. But yeah, that would basically sum up all the tweaks and tricks I want to show you. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.